Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil and welcome to another Zelda Breath of the Wild episode. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete Qua Ram Shrine and show you how to get all the chests and we're getting started right now. So when you're making your way up Death Mountain, you're probably heading towards one of the quests to defeat Divine Beast Rudania. The first thing that you're going to want to do is swing over to the Foothill Stables located right outside of Moakit Shrine. These two locations are right at the foothills of Death Mountain. You can't miss them. Once there, talk to a worker there by the name of Gale. You can't miss her because she's likely going to be standing out front and kind of just walking around. When you start the conversation with her, she'll sell you some fireproof elixir at a reasonable price. So grab three and make your way further up the mountain. In addition to getting the elixir, it would be helpful for you to have a couple standard arrows in your inventory because we're going to use them once we get into the shrine. If you follow the path on the map, you'll eventually come to Garonby Lake. You should be able to glide right over to the shrine and make your way in. Guys, leave me a comment below and let me know which quest you were attempting when passing by this shrine. I'm just kind of curious to know what everybody else is doing in the game. Once you make your way inside, you'll see right away two pillars on each side of your screen. The left pillar has a heavy wooden box, and the right pillar has a treasure chest. The first thing that you're going to want to do is burn that wooden box so that the pillar with the treasure chest will lower down. Run across the room, turn around, and use a standard arrow to actually shoot right through the flame and hit the box. The box will catch fire and the pillars will adjust. Now you can run over and grab the treasure chest and make your way over to the locked door with the key. Guys, if you are finding value in this guide, then please give it a thumbs up. Alright, so next you're going to use the key to open the door, and then you're going to grab two of the metal boxes with magnesis. You'll place one on the floor to your left, and you'll use this as a step in the next part. The other metal box will be used to adjust the pillars hanging from the ceiling. Now you should be able to hop onto the metal box and then jump over onto the pillar. Next we're going to use Magnesis once again to move this box that's sitting on top of the pillar over across the room to the other pillar. Then you're going to drop the box and it'll adjust the pillar so that you can glide your way over to the other one. Once there, you can basically repeat the exact same process in reverse, move the metal box over to the other side of the room and it'll adjust the pillars and now you have access to the next chest. Then after that, you're going to run back to the middle of the room. You'll need to blast away the rock wall to complete the shrine. And so you'll basically just place a bomb on the pillar next to the wall. You're going to use the third metal box. You're going to place it on the pillar across the room. And once you do, the pillar will raise and you'll detonate the bomb. And then after that, you can use Magnesis once again to grab the metal box and adjust the pillars once again.
Next, you'll use Magnesis to adjust the pillars and hitch a ride to the top to finish the shrine. However, just be careful of the spikes on the ceiling so you'll have to time things just right. The video up next will walk you through the Divine Beast Redania, so click that and keep learning. And if you're new here, then click the round icon to subscribe and check out my other Zelda Breath of the Wild how-to videos. When you do, it's like throwing me a digital ham sandwich.